I'm James Sabalski. Down at ice level is Ray Ferraro, and we are amped up to bring you what should be a dandy matchup here this evening. Always find these matchups so fascinating here, Ray, in the American Hockey League with players going in such completely different directions. Really an important game all the time. You never know who you're really playing for. Yes, the general manager of your team, but everybody else too. You like your team, you love the NHL. You want to work to get out of the American League if you can. Deflected away, nice defensive use of the stick there. Thunder is hit. Well, that's inevitable. He had his head down, got hit so hard he dropped his stick. Now he's got to go pick it up before he can join the play again. That's why coaches say keep your head up, right? Well, that's one of the reasons. The Bruins are on the attack. He's got a step. Oh, man. Yeah, that wasn't very good. It looked like he was going to deke, and then he was going to shoot, and then he didn't either. He scores! Well, no long after they sat down for the end. That's the whole point of this thing, isn't it? If you're at home, you want it to be a bit of a party. Early on, they've got the game's first goal. That happened quick. The defensive zone turnover leaves the shooter in a good spot. The goalie can't catch up to it. It beats him low. Providence has got a 1-0 lead, and they've got their crowd on their feet here. Early on, the entertainment is here. Early lead for the home team. The first goal in the first five minutes, and now you push for another. Dumps it into the Ozone. Plays the puck up ahead. Gaunt takes it across the line. The Bruins have the puck now. Can't get it to go. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Stopped with ease. Still lots of time left here in this frame. 1-0 the score. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Good check, frees the puck up. Feeds the puck across to Gravel. Moves it to Archibald. Providence has got the puck here in the open ice. Carries it across the line. Here it is, point shot, and he says no! And he caught him when he wasn't looking, what a hit! Unleashes a cannon! And that shot gets caught in traffic. Gets the puck back onto a stick. And it's a quick pass to Agostino. The Bruins have it now. Rips it, and that goes off a player. Blistering shot! Oh, what a stop! Tough enough to make the save unless you can see it. He's got to fight his way and find the puck. Taken by Agostino. One on one with the goaltender. What a defensive effort to break up that one. Looked like the shooter was in clean till the defender came back and made an excellent play. One hustle. Providence had an amazing start. They've been on the body, they've got the lead, and they look like they're carrying the play. Past the midway mark of the frame, 1 0 is where we sit at this point. The Marlies take possession off the faceoff. Thunder is hit! Oh, my! Yeah, that one hurt me over here. That is an enormous hit. He closed the gap in a hurry. Here's a blast! Oh, flashes the leather to get a piece of it. Near the point. Here's a blast! Puck grabbed by Petrovic. And there's the save. Providence's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Shuts him down. If you're going to leave a rebound, it might as well be 30 feet away from the net. That's a really good stop because the puck's out of danger. The Bruins get a hold of it. Providence has got it in their own zone. Handles the pass from the right side. There's a violent collision. A thunderous no. collision. He could have used an airbag. He got thumped <laughs> there. <laughs> the Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Breen's moving it ahead. Puck picked up in the open ice. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Toronto's got control of the puck. Providence has got possession here in the neutral zone. Centering pass! And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. 
Well, lots and jump at both ends of the ice here as the first period comes to an end. We've got a 1-0 game here after the first 20 minutes of play. Second period set to get underway. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Toronto's probably in a spot that they deserve to be in. They haven't had the puck very much. Of course they're going to be chasing the game. Smart heads up, play to intercept the pass. The Bruins have done a terrific job intercepting pucks, having their sticks in positions to deny plays in the middle of the ice. This game has been really tight. Rips it from the blue line, locks them down in front of the net. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here they are on the attack. And a great save. The Marlies grab possession to the puck. That's a good heads up play at center ice. Oh, he rocked him. On the attack along the boards. Scores! Well, the game back to level now. Anybody that's had a lead, the lead is gone. And now we're evened up again. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Who's the puck? A little welcome suck him on the play. Tremendous hit and comes up empty. The Bruins have it against the wall. Puck picked up by Kemper. Picks up the puck in his own end. And now it's grabbed by Aber. Quick feed to Brooks. Pushes it across to Aber. Brings the puck into the offensive Whoa. end now. Brooks plays it against the boards. Right in the slot. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save. He scores! Well, they break the tie here, James. This game had been hotly contested since it's been level. They now have found a way to jump into the lead. Oh, what an effort. He did everything he could to stop that, but he gets beat anyway. Providence has gone up by one here in this second period. Pretty important goal to get to break the tie here as you get into the middle frame, and now you have a chance to control maybe the way the game's played. Scored by number the Bruins gain possession in their own end. Carey's got it into offensive territory. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! That's surprising so quickly. They've scored two goals in just about a minute 20. Conversely, deflating for the other team. And that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. That's a good feeling for the shooter. He gets out in the clear on the breakaway, and he doesn't miss. Excellent snapshot past the goalie. Providence's offense delivers yet again. They now have a two-goal lead. They have dominated in this. They really have, and the key for them is not to look at the clock, but to keep playing the same way. They've done a really nice job dominating the majority of possession. Takes the feed at the point. Makes the save. Nice feed from the goaltender. 11 minutes, 5 seconds. Receives the pass. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Richie's taking it from his own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 Unleashes a cannon. Oh, he stopped that one. That was a fireball. Way too much congestion blocks that. Takes the feed. And not much on that one. Providence has been so aggressive. They take it away all the time and space from their opponents, and they've stretched their lead. The Bruins have generated plenty of quality scoring chances and a big reason why they lead late in the second period. That's a solid hit. Trying to shake the defender and puts it off the post. A uh, really good shot. He was able to snap the shot off quickly, beats the goaltender, not the pipe. With the stop. Dead center, excellent save. Big hit 
I can hear it from here. Yeah, that sounded like a car crash. What a huge hit. In the second period. Takes it across the blue line. And the defenders come up with the puck and manages to clear the zone. Handles the pass at center. Breakaway. Denies him. How did he keep that out? Unreal reflexes. That was a good move, but the goalie reacts quickly and turns it away. Hard sounds to end the second period. As we hit the second intermission, it's a 3-1 hockey game. Every playoff team, our team. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Here we go, put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Toronto's got to find some energy here. The game's close, but they haven't had very many shots on goal. You're not going to score like that. Takes the shot, misses over the net. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Oh, comes up with a stop. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Takes a big hit. Comes up with a stop. The Bruins are in the lead in large measure because of the number of hits that they've had in this period. They've controlled the play. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Crowd's been into this one right from the get-go. It's 3-1. Takes a slap shot from the point. Too many bodies in the way. And we've got a two-on-one. He scores! That's three ring. Yeah, just they haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal at all here. Once they got that first one, they kept pushing away. Now they've got three. You don't get many of these odd man rushes in the game, so when you do get one, you better take advantage. Really nice play. Providence is all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Off oh, target. Here's an offensive chance. Can't keep a hold of it. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. The Bruins offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Here's an odd man rush. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Turns it away on the slap shot. From the opposite point, with the steal. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Gons takes the puck. Nice bank pass off the boards. The Marlies going to work on offense. Levels them with the hit. Here they come on the attack. It's a 2 on 0 What a stop! Now yeah, the goalie does a great job here. Reads the shooter the whole way in. Not fooled at all. Whistle blown as that's redirected into the crowd. Providence's offense has been the story tonight. Leading big time here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the try and scores! Wow, this is unbelievable. Four straight goals. They've dominated this play. Centerman practice faceoffs at the end of every practice. This time, the defensive guy loses position. The puck ends up on the shooter's stick, and he rifles it by the goaltender. And they're going to mix it up between the pipes here. I guess you can't pull the whole team, so you just pull the goalie. He's had enough go past him tonight. The Bruins seem to be playing right to the final whistle here tonight, Ray. Yeah, everybody's having fun. Everybody's getting points, and they are steamrolling their opponent. Scored by number 38. Providence has gained possession along the boards. The Bruins will play from the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Richie. Richie's got it on the offensive end. Standing tall with the save. Knocked away. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Providence has got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Carey. No. Scores! He 
had to be ready for this puck to end up on his stick. He doesn't take any time at all. The goalie's not set. It's in the net. I love breakaways. You can pull away from the guy. Now you feel clear. You're in the open. He makes a nice play to beat the goaltender. The Bruins have really been strutting their offensive prowess. Have you been impressed tonight? I really have. They can put it on cruise control now. A large lead here in the third period. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Tries to feed it across. Carries it in. The Marlies get a hold of the puck in their own end. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender. He clearly thought he had room to get by, but it got closed off in a hurry. He took a big hit there. Providence is up big time here in the late stages of this third period. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Just wide. Takes control of the puck. Blast from the point. Makes the save on the slapper. Takes a wrist shot. There's another stop. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Puts it just wide of the net. Toronto's gained possession. Up along the wing. Pokes the puck away. The Marlies gain control of the puck against the wall. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. There's the physical side. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Hughes brings it in. Steps into it. Scores! Actually, James, it's amazing to me how many times an odd man rush gets screwed up. They deliver this one perfectly, and they put one on the board. Providence's lamp-lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Hammers one from the point. Denies him on the play. Yeah, he does a nice job here finding the puck as it works its way through. He's got to pick it up somewhere amongst all that traffic. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Providence done an excellent job tonight being in the passing lanes. They've intercepted a pile of passes. One of the reasons they're way up in this game. And that brings an end to this one here this evening really dominant performance. I guess you could notice that from the way that they had the puck most of the time, but they won this very comfortably tonight. Even the fancy stats crew would agree with this one. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. Thanks for joining us tonight.